Hey y'all, we're live. If the red light is in the upper corner, we're live. If not, you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, so we can keep it up in the feed and we know that you have watched it. So I am not at the home of Dixie Darlings today. We are in a different location and I have a guest who I'm gonna let come introduce himself as soon as I see people stop hop, start hopping on. Y'all say hey as you're jumping on. Uh, I just sent out the text reminder to everybody. So, and I'm gonna sit y'all right over here. I, know, I think they actually will be able to see that way. Okay. So let me pull it up in the group, y'all, because I'm not sure how good my phone's going to be working to do comments. So I'm going to turn the volume down and find me in the group. Now it's starting to populate. So have you been like, hey, Veda, how are you? Y'all say hey as you're jumping on. Uh, like I said earlier, if the red light's in the upper corner, we're live. If not, you're watching the replay. Hashtag replay so we can keep it up in the feed. And I know that you watch it. Hey, Ruth, I just saw you. I totally missed Cindy's live. So I'm anxious to see. She wanted me to do those dog prints the other day. And uh, I couldn't find them at my place. So, hey, Brooke. Hey, Miss Mary. Y'all say hey as you're jumping on. We have a special guest in the background. I'll let him come over here and introduce himself. Yeah. Brooke. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, Brooke says she's so jealous, so excited to watch, though. Um, Debbie says that she's glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you. you. I'll let you read the comments. <laughs> Welcome to my shop, y'all. Uh, Steelwood Studios is a Birmingham-based maker. I uh, make custom furniture. I'm also a licensed builder, but um, I prefer to be in my shop making furniture. And uh, most everything I make is custom commissioned. I don't really have any... Um, production pieces for sale so um, things like large farm tables um, barn doors entertainment centers built-ins um, patio furniture things like that so um, today we're gonna be working on a big uh, uh, live edge river pour something um, I've always wanted to do y'all yeah, so, so I'm super excited about it yeah and uh, I've done a couple of them but this one's gonna be bigger than anything I've done before and a very deep pour, so we got a special epoxy that we're going to be using. So it's Maybe exciting. We haven't even gotten that out yet. We'll have we to will. do all that. Yeah, we're we'll get all that. that. We just went and picked up the slab, and it's right here. And so we didn't go live there just because there was a lot of moving parts over there. But I saw some beautiful wood, y'all. Beautiful wood. So I do have footage of all that. And so somebody says, "Do you ship?" Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, shipping a 500-pound table is a little bit of a challenge, but um, I deliver. I've delivered long distance loaded up on a trailer or whatever there's some fees associated with that and now with gas the way it is those fees are higher than they've, they've been but uh yeah i can ship mm -hmm. i can deliver yeah they want you to deliver yeah, yeah. <laughs> there y'all are gonna want him to deliver <laughs> I, I like to deliver because i like to s oversee the install myself mm -hmm. um if it's just a table or something it's pretty simple but still there can be some twists and turns Cindy. uh my i don't this is my first tiktok that we're going to be doing yeah, I don't yeah. have a TikTok. You can follow my TikTok, Steelwood Studios, but there's nothing yeah. posted, but I appreciate it. If I get a 1,000 people, I can do live events. I know. He, so he messaged me yesterday, and he's like, hey, I can't find the live button. And so I even screenshot mine. I was like, oh, wait, you got to have a 1,000 viewers. Yeah. So, yeah, I told him we would try to help him get to a 1,000. But my and, uh, Instagram is Steelwood Studios, and you can yeah. see some of my stuff there. And then Facebook, Steelwood Studios. But, yeah, we're going to create him some TikToks, so y'all stay tuned. That he's going to have some TikToks out there, y'all. He's going to dance. In. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> they don't even see me dance. So, uh, so let's see. So, you totally delivered a Hartzell then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm I mean, based out of Nashville. Nashville's home. Um, so, I was in Nashville for years doing this stuff. So, um, all around the southeast. I've been to Atlanta. I've been down to the beach and done some stuff down there. And, uh, yeah, all over southeast. We will you bring Kelly Ten with you and come on down to Ohio when I order? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Put order road together. trip. Hey, we've been trying to get Dixie Darlings to go on the road, y'all. So I mean, you know, maybe prime opportunity. I don't want to go on the road, but I'll deliver. <laughs> I, I like where I'm at. So y'all going to do a little work if he's going to be my sidekick for the craft room takeover when Kelly goes on the road. Um, okay, so I know I missed a whole bunch of y'all, and y'all are all used to me saying hey. So know that I've seen your comment while he was talking. Uh, and Cindy, I want to know if your comment was for me or for him. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, and we have to have the fan on y'all. So it's so hot. Do you do counters? Uh, like yeah, wood. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't do solid surface stuff. I mean, it, everything I do is wood, but yeah, absolutely. So there you Counter go. Countertops, bars. I've done a lot of uh, commercial stuff. That's really what I 
was doing in Nashville was a lot of bars, restaurants, um, you know, accent walls and bars and outdoor pieces and fixtures and stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I, I can do anything. I mean, I'm not, that's not a brag thing. I just mean like I, I can you accomplish can anything you want me to do. <laughs> that's a big word. <laughs> what? You can accomplish anything we need you to do. Well. Craft room takeover. Yeah. Yeah, within reason. Dixie Darlings, craft room takeover. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, that's mod. I know, yeah, I'm kidding. Better. I'm kidding. He knows. He knows. He's already had some ideas that he thought that it would go over really well. Okay, so your comment above was for him. I know, Debbie, yours was. I saw your comment. He'll, I'll have to make sure that he goes back and sees all the comments that y'all are doing later. Because, I mean, obviously, y'all, he's going to do a bunch of the work. He's going to cut this lab, and then we're going to bring the epoxy in. And I don't know about it. I guess I could show the micas. There's new micas that are coming out of counterculture. And I think they were supposed to include it. I haven't even opened the boxes. Like, I called the UPS guy yesterday and said, hey, don't even deliver that. Don't even put that in my house. Can you just put it right in my truck, please, so I don't have to handle it? Um, but there's supposed to be epoxy. I mean, there's supposed to be micas in there. So I probably could show you all those too. And he's just got some neat stuff, like where his location is, y'all. There's a lot of cool history stuff. So if y'all are interested, after we kind of do this, he uh, kind of gave me the rundown when I first got here of just kind of the neighborhood and what's going on here and what the future of this area looks like. It's pretty cool. So if y'all are interested in that, we can do that too. You need one that looks like driftwood. Uh, of course, management is cutting the grass outside my window. Well, we'll, t we'll try to talk loud enough where... We got the fan on. I know where you yell. can hear us. Yeah. So, anyway, if you want to, like, just kind of, like, what our process is going to be. Like, obviously, I told him it's not going to be just today. It's going to be, like, a yeah. part series of, you know... Yeah, today's going to be pretty lean on the actual hands-on stuff. Um, but what we've got is a uh, slab of maple uh, was cut down from a, a tree, um, I think, fairly local out by Tuscaloosa out that way. And um, so the way that you do river pour tables, um, and if you know what we're talking about, what that is, is it's a table. It's got straight edges like any table would. And in the middle, there is a river of blue or green or whatever color, black epoxy. And it looks like a river going through a canyon or something like that. And so they call them river pour tables. Now you can get creative with that and you can pour the epoxy on the edges. You can have cavities in the middle. You can do any designs. If you if you uh, Google River Pour Tables, you can come up with some really uh, creative uh, things because <laughs> Kelly was sending me pictures, and I was like, girl, we can do that, but that's uh, that's some high-level stuff. Y'all know. Y'all know how I am. Yeah, I got to yeah. be special. <laughs> yeah, it was special. So uh, the plan for this is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this slab, and in a minute I'm going to cut it down the middle, and then we're going to take it and – invert the edges so that what we've got is a uh, what's going to look like a canyon in the middle and then we're going to kind of lay it out and think about you know how we want it to look and then show the epoxies and that sort of thing so I'm going to get my stuff together yeah and you can talk to them yeah. and I'll cut and can y'all hear okay like with the fan going and stuff yeah, is that, I mean uh, like I just want to make sure like I've got y'all pretty close but I still want y'all to be able to see what's going on so, and, uh, you know, like, it's going to be mostly, like, like y'all going to stuck, be stuck with me talking to y'all, entertaining you still, because he's like, he's like the muscle over here. I'm just the idea girl. <laughs> you got the ideas. Uh, like, I can burn up his phone with some ideas, y'all, so. And he just. Oh, we got the, you'll see this, but I want to plug my buddy. We got this from uh, Avondale Hardwoods. Yeah. Uh, David Trailer, great friend of mine. Um, he's got everything you can imagine he's got live edge he's got mahogany he's got exotic woods he's got what we saw some turkish walnut yeah, it's like turkish walnut and i did video beautiful. that y'all because it is beautiful it's like what you imagine like all those tables and things that you see that just have this like it's got the black running through and it's just beautiful real beautiful. gnarly yeah. and, and a lot of textures yeah. and then when you put a stain or something on there it's just it pops right. um, but he has everything and he actually makes stuff as well so he's a really talented maker um but um uh, anyway, so that's where we got this. David Trailer, Avondale Hardwood. Yeah, he's a really the nicest guy. Like, Great I had never guy. met him before, but Great he was, like, guy. the nicest guy. Been doing so. it for a long time. So, you have some very interesting stuff in there. Okay, so y'all can all hear me fine. You're, yes, I'm saving the live, Sarah. So, I'll save it here, and then there are some people that wanted to watch it that um, that aren't on, in the Facebook group. So, I said I would I, I will post it on YouTube as well as we kind of do the lives. But then we'll have like a compilation at the end of, you know, like an official tutorial when it's off. Are the tables really expensive? Um, yeah, they, yes, they can be. And if you just Google them, you can see a price range of all from like, I mean, really like 
two thousand dollars to like twenty thousand dollars just depending on now of course the ones i was sending him were all the complicated ones and he's like whoa 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 slow your roll and i'm like I'm like, no, 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 that's what my vision is in my head, right? So yeah, you're gonna start, you're gonna be in the thousands. Um, you know, it's uh, it, the epoxy cost really drives things up. Epoxy is yeah. not cheap and it's a, a higher level than just making a table. And so there's a lot of labor that's involved. There's a lot of materials. Um, so yeah, but you can, uh, because of everything I do is custom and commission. I really like to work with people on a budget, not people on a budget. People who have a budget, and you give me your budget, and we'll figure out a solution that'll work for you. So, um, like I said, I mean, it, it, the type of material of the wood, the type of table you want, the type of epoxy you want, all of that's just going to drive cost. And then base, um, you make you a, a metal base. I've got metal equipment I can weld. You want a wood base, so all of that's going to affect cost. And like he, the wood that I was looking at over there, obviously like that was his higher end wood. So like I videoed that we we're talking about that Turkish walnut was absolutely beautiful. And of course, well, he said how much that piece was, and I was like, I didn't think that was crazy. Did you? Like I didn't think that was like. Yeah, so it'd be about a thousand. Yeah. For the for the for the piece of wood. For the piece of wood, yeah. Yeah, and then you'd have your cost on top of that. Yeah. So even the basic table, typically, with it's a little, it can be different, but you can typically double your material and your labor costs yeah. for, for just, you know, basic stuff. You say it's a thousand for the materials, it's be a thousand to make the table, but you'd be probably, be, you know. But you know, he had a great idea. Like he was looking at this piece of wood, y'all, and he's like, oh, it'd be great as a mantle with a mirror over it. Like he like saw it right then, you know. So I can't wait for, I'll, I'll, uh, I think I took some pictures of that too. Okay, let me see here. I oh, know I'm missing comments, y'all, sorry. So, hey, in Rhode Island, Miss Sherry, um, sorry, I missed it. Do you need to reinforce the epoxy area with metal? No, we're not reinforcing the epoxy, the center with metal. Um, we're, we're debating on that. Okay. Yeah, a lot. So we're learning to. <laughs> yeah, if you um, I'll get over here so you guys can. I, know. I, I don't know yeah. if you can hear with the fan and stuff. One of the things about oh look at that. One of the things about reinforcing with metal is if you want to do a light pour, and so you've got a green or a blue then you're gonna see those metal strips underneath the table. So you don't have to do that if you really are looking for something that's translucent where you can see through to the floor, which a lot of people want on a river table. I mean, I've seen them do it in almost white, you know, almost yeah, clear. Yeah, I've sent you a couple pictures. It's almost like a clear, they just have like right. a little bit of tint to it. But if you're doing a black or a dark blue or something like that, and I've talked to some people and they're saying with the maple and stuff that we ought to put, and so what I would do is I would route out in the bottom cut metal channels, insert this in there to make sure that there's no bowing or cupping as the table, you know, over time it gets in a home, moisture content, all that kind of stuff, it won't move on us. So we, we're debating on that. It'll depend on what color Ms. Kelly decides on. <laughs> oh, he's going to make a decision. Okay, uh, so uh, Avondale, what's the name of the? Hardwoods. Avondale Hardwoods. And I've got his card, y'all, because we were talking about another project too. So I'll make sure that I post that in there for y'all. And then, okay, so is the wood expensive for us to buy to make it ourselves? Uh, is this going to be a, uh, I don't know if this is going to be my table or what we're going to, it's like debatable. It might be my table. I mean, I don't know. We, I might, we, we might, might do it and I love it. it. I know we might sell it. Um, so we're thinking about that or I don't know. Like I'm afraid y'all, I've wanted to do one of these for so long. It's going to cost you anywhere from three or four hundred to a thousand. Yeah. Probably. And so, yeah, he, so he, he, the live edge is anywhere from three or four hundred to a thousand. And this piece is, how big was this was uh, the length of it? This was uh, nine and a half N feet. Nine and a half feet. But he's cutting it down. It's not going to be quite that big. We're going to do a seven foot table yeah. and we're going to take the remaining two and a half feet and we're going to make something else out of it. So. We're going to auction it on the live. No, I don't know. <laughs> Look, he's just giving away our table. He's like, we're going to auction it. We could, well, I, no, I don't know if you could do it. Yeah, well, you could do that. We could do an auction of that. Hey, Angel. Hey, Amy. Sorry I missed everybody at the beginning. We were just kind of chatting, and he's kind of getting everything lined up yeah. to make a big cut down the center of this table. So uh, I guess y'all can see it okay. I guess you can't see how long, but then I'm afraid if I move too much, y'all won't be able to, like, hear us because we got the fan on because it's a little warm here in Alabama. Yeah, it is. I'm missing some stuff, so bear with me. Okay, so he says bear with him. So what kind of questions y'all got other than my hair's going the wrong way today? While you're sitting here, uh, can we lick it? <laughs> this, this one, or y'all want to lick the 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 auction table? <laughs> That's a good question. So they have this little joke, like when I'm working on cups, 
and they'll say, can we lick it? I know. See, y'all had him thinking that you, you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, so they have this thing where I'm working on cups, and they always say, can I lick it? And that means they want to buy it, like they want it. So, the first right. person that licks it gets it. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do. We haven't really talked about it. Oh, Debbie says, no, you. <laughs> He's up for dibs to the, to the highest bidder. We're going to do an auction? <laughs> yeah. No. He says, no. Uh, it's the perfect position. You have three fans in a window unit. Uh, well, I saw Liz hop on here. Bless her heart. Her air conditioner's out, and they told her she can't get her new unit until July the 8th at her house. So, is there so any... How many people are we talking to? Uh, there's 84 right now. That's awesome. But, they'll be like a thousand. I'm usually in like here all by, by myself. So... I'm like by myself all day. So. He's like, how many people are we talking to? Your husband would not approve. No, he probably wouldn't, Debbie. Probably not. Uh, the name of the business you are working with. Oh, Steelwood Studios. I'm sorry. And I shared his TikTok, and he also has an Instagram that you can see some of the work. That glass table you did is beautiful. Yeah, it's a knife edge, white yeah. oak. Um, a uh, real pretty um, mix stain on it and then a very custom metal base. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was a really fun project. Yeah, you can see that on Instagram. It's really pretty. Um, okay, you have a topic question. Do you know... Wait a minute. Do I know me or him, Bogger Brown or any of them for Cowboy Way, Alabama? I do not. I do not. No, we do not. It's pouring rain here. I went to spray cups, and the bottom fell out. Bless your heart, Amanda. It is not raining here. I talked to my dad in South Carolina today, and he said it was storming, so he didn't play off. It rained earlier. Here? A little bit. Oh, it didn't at my house. Um, we can, okay, so y'all both y'all can hear us. Uh, hey, Dawn. July the 8th for AC. I know, right? Uh, for real, though. That's what I told her. And so, Liz, can I tell your personal stuff on here? I mean, her living room and all that stuff works, but she's like over not being able, it's her bedrooms and stuff. I told her just to come come with me. Uh, so you're stuck in traffic, lo loving the entertainment. You've never even spoken on here, Liz. Welcome to a live for the first time. Y'all, here's my BF. <laughs> my father-in-law is working on selling a new main unit and he just ran into some wiring issues and hasn't finished. He could be talking to people every day on here in just a few days, I, right? Y'all have my husband wanting to take over my she shed to make these now. Well, good. That's what we want y'all to do. We want y'all out here making these tables. Are you fixing a cut? Do I need to, like, be I'll, quiet? I'll tell you. I'm not going to surprise you with it. Does he good. make chairs or benches to go with the table? You signed in late. Hey, Kimberly. Yeah, cha chairs not so much. Chairs are a little bit more, uh, you, can, you can buy a chair a, a lot less than you can buy a table, but I make a ton of benches. Thank you, Patty. I had a dress on when I got here, and he told me I should just stay in that. I was like, no, nah, let me get my over. I'm like, I got to be comfortable. Uh, it's too hot in the south to not have AC. Amen to that. You can't have uh, AC in the shop. My gosh. No, she didn't. we're talking about Liz oh. has it, and she doesn't have it in her house. Uh, thank you for inviting us along. I'm excited. Well, I know. I, well, I wanted y'all to see it. Y'all know I try to show y'all everything I do as much as I can. I mean, as much as I can. So, hey, Miranda. Hey, Kimberly. Okay, so I guess you're... I'm gonna let him just do this. My husband's already started taking over my she shed doing leather work. Uh, Kelly, is this your boyfriend? No, <laughs> this is my friend. <laughs> He's my trusty sidekick in my table making expedition here. Apparently, we're gonna do. Gonna and do? now we're gonna be doing some craft room takeovers. Craft room takeovers. Yeah. yeah. Like All right, okay. I'm getting ready to cut. So, um, if we bought wood, does it have to wait so long before you can do anything to it? Uh, it depends on if it's already weighted, right? So you can't just cut down a tree, mill up a slab, make a table out of it because it's going to be green and it's going to move way too much. Most wood around here needs to sit a couple of years, uh, different climates. It needs to sit longer. Uh, you can kiln dry it and, and do that, but most slabs need to be cut up and wait for about two years before they're ready to go. Everything I buy has already been sitting around for a while. Um, so I got a guy that cut a pecan tree down and I'm going to wait another 18 months on that before it's ready to go. So. <laughs> Your husband, I know, right? They got to like glitter. That'll be the main thing. All right. Okay, y'all. Bear, bear with us now. I feel like, hold on. Hold on.
wants to score it, and you don't want to cut these the full the way the first time. So the first cut was just to score it, to make sure I got a good line, and that way my saw blade won't bend. If I, if I don't score it, if you don't score it first, you try to cut it, the saw blade can bend on you, and you get a real close to cut. So now I'm going to come back through and make the final cut. Well, I guess we've got to Okay, y'all. Sorry, I w we weren't answering questions. Uh, All right. Let me go back through here real quick. See if I missed anything. I saw Tracy Cohen pop in. Uh, you want to be the first craft room takeover, Joel? <laughs> I know somebody said, "How are you going to find people?" I said, "Oh, that's not a problem. Finding people to do it." Uh, hey, Tracy Cohen. That's why we bought a meal because they cured it. Hey, April. Sawdust and glitter. A patch made in heaven. You may have already said, but jumping on like, what are y'all going to, yeah, so we don't know what we're going to do with the table yet. We have talked about selling it. I don't know. I might do it and not be able to part with it. I see he has a USMC patch. Yes, he was. Yep. Yes, he does. He was. Uh, you're working on a wrap with some BAMP vinyl, and it looks so different than anything I've used. Thick and has a matte texture. Yes, it is very different. Hey, Cherry. What's that? Oh. I was just saying, hey. They were just talking about, they were... Di they were diverting to a different topic briefly. Can y'all see okay now? I kind of was like moving it a little bit, but I wanted y'all to be able to see what was going on. I think it's coming to Ohio. I mean, I'm ready. I want to take on every state, really. Like a different state every week of the year. Lord have mercy. You ready? <laughs> 52 weeks? Yeah. 50? Yeah. All, all 52 states. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have a break sometime. Um, oh, they said, where are your glasses? <laughs> My safety glasses? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had them on earlier. I just took them off. Yeah. My, ear, my ear pro and my eye pro. You should always have eye pro and ear pro. Do I, did, we, I didn't, but... Do, we, do as we say, not as we do. What's up, Tina? They know I don't ever have respirators on or anything else they do. So can y'all see okay now? Like, he's, you can see that. All right, so we've got it cut in half. And uh, as you can see, I got straight edges and I've got my valleys in here. So what I'm gonna do, just let me get out of the way. <laughs> I'm gonna get that end and bring it over. You know, flip this one around with me, walk that way. y'all see now i want to like take them off so they can like yeah. see from like i want y'all to be able to just like oh, wrong way and that's super cool y'all okay so what we'll do what we'll do is we'll come in here and i'll have to dress all this up take all this bark off right clean all this up get it all because the epoxy won't stick to this stuff, it'll obviously come off. So all this has to be by hand pulled off. We'll do that, you know, next time. We'll do a lot of surgery on it. And 
make sure we get all this clean. So all this bark will come off. And then we've got this really pretty canyon wall is what it's supposed to look like, riverbank kind of thing. And then pour the epoxy in there and create a river and that's your table. Now the other thing we probably will do, this is a, this is a little cheat. Um, a lot of times you buy these and these slabs are all knotted up and gnarly. They've got holes and, and divots all in them. And Kelly really liked that because when you pour the epoxy, it's not just in here, but it's also, you know, like, so you were, you were talking about those tables with the edge. I could come yeah. right here. We're probably gonna end this table about there. So I could come and cut something yeah. right there. So be on the outside. And epoxy, yeah. and you could have epoxy on the corner. Yeah. And I like, like, if y'all, if y'all, if you Google them and you look at them, it's like they do, um, like, they're like, it's kind of almost like it pulls up. So if y'all are like, I mean, some of y'all that have like already researched this, I'm sure you probably like already know that, but it pulls up in there. And so I kind of liked that he picked up that I kind of, when I was sending him stuff, that's what I liked. So, uh, what color river? We don't know. I don't know what color, uh, today I'm thinking like my... I want to see these. I want to see these uh, micas. I may go get that box. Like, are you? Uh, so, see I was gonna say, hey, why? This, you? Is, this is a little cheap for makers. Hey, Steph Day. Uh, sorry, y'all. I know I missed a bunch of stuff. Uh, and I know I've got flip flops on, y'all. I know I will have. Uh, I do have tennis shoes. I know. I know. Well, he said we weren't gonna get dirty today. Well, so, we're not. Just a little sawdust. I'll show um, you this. This is a little cheap. Um, this is a, this is just a um, angle grinder, DeWalt. You can get corded or cordless. This is a special um, head that goes on here and you can buy them in different uh, grits, I guess, or different aggressiveness. And this thing is amazing. I mean, it, it, it will absolutely tear this wood up. But so um, Kelly was saying she wanted some pools. What you can do is you can take this I can spend a few minutes and I can make a recess in here that's going to be a pool that'll be you know as deep as the wood or as deep as I want to go so I can pour epoxy in there and have some different um, spaces around so we will be able to do that and then maybe some stuff on the edge and whatnot but um, you knew I needed yeah. a little I needed a little character y'all right we couldn't just do like something basic we got to go like big or go home <laughs> I guess uh hey Stephanie okay so sorry let's see go back through here so yeah, I don't know what color. Like, so you're saying like they said darker. Like I was thinking like I like the blue and I like the teal, not like your green, but like that. But I, but so I got. You don't like my green. That was no, awesome. No, no, wasn't I don't, it? no. You I'm see that? Y'all catch that? I said not like that green. Um. I want to see what I was going to get those micas out. There's they, like, there's I, a couple of really good makers. One in particular called Blacktail Studios. You can see him. Um, he makes some great stuff, and he does matte black, and it's gorgeous. I've seen the black Now, it's one. different yeah. than a river table. At that yeah. point, it becomes more of a... Because he's building the forms out, right? That's right. And we're going to do that as well. Yeah. Um, but um, he'll do the matte black, which is really pretty. But I think we should do more of a traditional blue, yeah. green kind of thing. I know. I think of like the teal color or whatever. I don't know so what color. So, we to grab some of those and... Yeah. And uh, okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me... Uh, I think I locked it. Hold on. So, y'all just... Are y'all okay if we... I know it's kind of like gets crazy when you're walking around with the phone. But I've got the epoxies out here, and we were going to grab that. And then the micas are in here. And I haven't seen them, y'all. So, it'll be uh, new to me, too. And I guess it's okay that I'm showing y'all. I didn't really ask. Uh, Victoria, if you're on here, uh, do I have permission to show these micas? So... Uh, I would assume that they're probably in maybe that box, because those will look the same. But I don't know. I really don't know. And I'm not going to be much help. Hold on. I'll get another one. <laughs> These are all pretty heavy, huh? I didn't lift. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the hard guess. Okay, hold. We can just get this. And then we'll do it later. Yeah, we'll get the rest of it out later. <clears throat> okay, hold on, y'all. Sorry I'm not seeing your comments. Field trip. I know, right? Field trip. Florida water turquoise blue. So that's what I was thinking. Uh... Oh, yeah. So, he says there's a reason that all this looks like. Because he doesn't want... Like, when you're driving by, he doesn't want anybody to know what's kind of back here. But there's, like, his expensive tools and stuff are in here. Yeah, so y'all don't be telling... Yeah. He says, so y'all don't be telling everybody uh, that there's stuff back here. Okay. So, 
Uh, oh, who was the one? That, who did you say did the matte black? That's what they were asking me. Black Tail Studios. He, he does a lot of good stuff. I mean, I can do it, you know, so you don't have to get your table from him. You can get it from me. But um, <laughs> he's great. He's on YouTube. He does a lot of River Four stuff. But um, you can see that matte black. And it, it really, you know, if, you, if, if in your home, if you really want a piece of art, you want your table to be more neutral and blend in with your decor, that's a great way to go. Um, if you want the traditional river pour where it's, it's going to, you walk in and it just pops, that blue just jumps out at you and you see the wood all the way through, then you need to do a blue or a green or something like that. So, yeah, let, we're just going to dive into the box, y'all. Hey, Mama Donna, how are you, stranger? Uh, Amanda says redneck security system. Yeah, that's yes, right. Yes, they are. That's right. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, these are new. So, there's pearl, shimmer, white. Ooh, so, this is the kind of color I was thinking. Laurel, teal, twinkle, carbon shimmer. There's your black, carbon shimmer. Okay, so this is more epoxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if y'all have not seen this, this is the new epoxy from Keller Culture. It is the hardcast deep pour epoxy you'll probably have seen it i've tried to i probably have posted it or when they first launched it so um okay so chestnut flare all right so this is the reason why we're using it guys look i'm videoing myself videoing myself videoing myself uh, uh, you see this on here, two inch, right? So most epoxies are made to do a pretty thin pour. Used to be when you made river tables like this, you'd have to pour maybe a quarter inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch at a time. And what you'd end up with is from the end, you could actually see the layers and wasn't very attractive. And, but it, but it was what it was. You're dealing with bubbles. You're dealing with um, the different epoxy layers. So they've come up with these deep pour resins for things like this and other deep uh, cat epoxy casts. So uh, this company wanted to give this a shot. This is the first kind of go with this, right? Yeah. Yep. So yep. it's going to be awesome. Yep. So all this is counterculture and these micas are too. So I guess they're making these for because they're in bigger sizes. So it would be to use with this. So they're pretty cool. Yeah. So those are the colors that I kind of imagine. Two part. You mix A and B, you just put it in a five gallon bucket, right? So you got two gallons here. You could do obviously four of these five gallon bucket. We're probably gonna need two or three five gallon buckets by the time this is over. So this stuff is not cheap and we're gonna end up with probably needing about seven gallons, I guess, by the time we're done. So, so it's an expensive process. Yeah, so Kimberly asked epoxy, how much epoxy for a nine, for, oh, for this nine foot table, yeah. And we're cutting it down. But we'll it, cut it down about more, seven. But it, I guess it depends more too of like how wide you want your river, right? Yeah, so you could, rivers can be anywhere from, I mean, you can make them as shallow as you want, but most rivers are anywhere from six to, I mean, you can go up to about 20 inches. I mean, you could do a whole table out of epoxy. You'd be fine. But most rivers are going to be somewhere in the 10 to 12. Ours is going to be about 12. It's about as wide as I want to go with it. Um, you have issues of when there's when there's epoxy is in the middle that's as much as the wood it can start to cut the epoxy can pull the top so we're going to secure this down with clamps so that my, when the epoxy is poured in the middle the wood doesn't start to pull up so there's a lot of little tricks that you have to do um, in doing this but um, on that seven foot table and I've done the math and Blacktail actually has a, has a great um, tutorial on how to do the math on that. Um, my tutorial is there's a calculator on the internet that you can <laughs> calculate epoxy on a river pour. Uh, so I use that estimated because you've got all of these dips and turns. So you have to measure between each one, get all of that, and then do the area of the volume of the liquid for it to go into. So it's a lot of math. And, and I guess if you're adding random pools, you That's right, and you add that. And fortunately, I'm really smart. So I figured it up with my calculator, and I think we're going to need about seven gallons, uh, between seven and ten gallons. Um, okay, so I'm going to show them these. So I don't know what the difference is. So there's a Winchester and a Carbon Shimmer. I'm sure if we open them, we could see like, the difference. I'm sure they're probably sealed, if I had to guess. Winchester, that's cool. I don't know. Yeah, they're really cool. I guess it's just more of a silver base, right? Like, that's what you see? The Winchester this just have a silver, silver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they've got Winchester. That's what I was trying to look and see. Carbon Shimmer, Winchester. 
But this one just has a little bit more of a silver base. And then white and pearl shimmer. Which that one's kind of cool too. I wonder what that looks like once you put it in epoxy, right? Like most of these kind of colors show up better, better on a dark base. Because it adds like the color. Yeah. Good. So I'll show you what I did with some of that pearl because I use it. Uh, teal, twinkle. I tried to put them in order. Bora, Bora. Like from greens to blues. Laurel. Can y'all see okay? Sorry, we don't have the lights in here. I figured there's enough light. Mermaid. So, yeah, I don't know. This one right here, this teal twinkle, y'all. Y'all know once I get something in my mind, it's kind of like, hmm. You're gonna love this. This was a little project that I did for some people. And that's what the pearl oh, you shimmer that in looks there. like. Yeah. So that's what that's gonna come out like. Not great for a river pour. Look at that. But real tight. I've never tied. seen a copper one. Yeah, I anyway. haven't either. And then, all, so they had all American, that's more of your blue, and then a copper. Okay, sorry, uh, okay. When, uh, go with Winchester just because, wait, of what? Just because of the name, I know, that's right? That's what I said, right? Um, I'm oh, sorry. Um, Debbie just says, hey, Mama Dee Dee, my mom's in the house, so we gotta be on our best behavior. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. He looks at me like, oh, so I'm just joking. Oh, dear God, you can just make my table. Heck with me trying, I'll stick to my baby pores. Per I know the pearl is beautiful. Don't I know? I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna open it. I was thinking it was just like sealed. Uh, what will be on the bottom of the river to hold the epoxy? So you gotta wait epoxy and see. Itself. Yeah, but you gotta come back and you gotta watch part two, right? That's, gotta, that's <laughs> the that's the that's the the mix. <laughs> the mix of this creates the epoxy right so an e epoxy is not a chemical it's a chemical compound so these are poured together a and b that creates oh, there's a form underneath there it's not one that's like leaks or different oh is that what that's they mean i'm idea. sorry yeah. yes no no, no, no. What yeah. mean? so i'm sorry it's melamine um so it's particle board with a melamine top you've seen it it's that white stuff um use it for countertop i mean um shelving and yeah. you know cheap shelving and stuff like that so the melamine and then there's a uh, a mold release um, and you spray the mold release, and that allows the epoxy to break free um, after you finish your pour. Yeah, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Some, yeah, I, I think that's what they were asking. I went not 100% sure. Sometimes it's hard for, you know. Y'all move fast sometimes. Y'all got a lot of questions. So I somebody says add the copper, but I don't know if you, like, I, I guess, like, I see the oceans, but, like, that, that color right there grabs my attention. We can mix up some samples. I've got tons of little little cups, and we can mix up samples and see what colors you like. I think a blue-green traditional. I know, right? Like, I think, and I like, see, like, it's almost like that's the, has the, the sparkle in it. Probably that's my go-to. It's what I picked up first. I should always go with my first reaction. Uh, not that one. But maybe we do one on one color, and then on the, like, when we have the smaller table, yeah. we do it a different color, or just to try something Well, totally you can do the pools. Yeah, I guess you could do them. You could do them different. You could have it. I mean, I don't know how that look. I don't know. I'll have to like. I see all the ocean stuff. And they put the white and stuff in it, but I haven't seen it like that one where it's like proper. But that could be potentially kind of cool. He's like, oh no, don't give no, her. No, I don't know. I mean, he's I, like, don't I'm, give her any more I'm, ideas. I'm open to it. It's your table. No, it's not. It's, it's our table. It's our table. Uh, that's what. Yes. Yeah, so that's what she meant. Black with some copper streaks would be. Yeah, black black with copper streaks would be kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> now. would be badass. That would be like maybe on a maybe on a little table. I feel like you got to do the you got to do the regular on the big table. Don't I mean, I, I think yeah. we want to go traditional. Yeah. Just because we want to do it, but on a big table, that black with those okay. copper streaks, and then take this walnut with some with a, a, a darker stain, metal base, like a nice geometric metal base. Man, that would pop. Okay, so that just goes, we don't That's know. That's our next project. Yeah, we don't know. What is the brand name of the epoxy? Oh, hey, Mama Donna. It is a counterculture makes a hard cast deep pour. So it's CCDIY, counterculture DIY. Um, he was not leaving us any mystery for part two, Kelly did. You got to teach him to not give away everything before it's ready. I know, he's like, got to save some. Well, got, when you, there's, like, a, lot of, there's a lot time. of little tricks and tips. You'll see it. When we when we actually do it, there's a, there's a lot to it. We've been making that form and putting that together is a big deal. Hey, Angela, to your first live. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I know you got a little eye candy, right? Today, you usually just get me. 
And so she shows up for the eye candy. I know. I said, I'm just going to be like chopped liver now. Y'all don't even want to watch me anymore. Um, <laughs> so they love that with a metal base. Yeah. I know. He's getting right. excited, right? Like that's what he's like now he's thinking about that. Somebody order one. He's drooling just thinking about that black and copper. I know I can see it in his eyes. Somebody, he's somebody order like, one and I'll make you one. We'll do this one traditional, but you order one and I'll make you one. Black and copper. Uh, what I mean, miss. Okay, it depends on what you're going for. Yeah, I know. It kind of depends on yeah. what you're... It does really kind of... And I think maybe they'll be only thinking just doing a traditional because you know that, like... I mean, I don't know, though. I like, think I a black see. with copper in a conference room. Yeah. Like an architect's office or a lawyer firm or something like that. I've done a lot of those. They want yeah. big tables. Yeah. That'd be amazing. To be like when it's impressive when you yeah. walk in. I mean, the black ones are. Even just the black, you don't even have the copper in it. Cause I'm, you know, I've, looked, I've looked at a lot of them, y'all. He just eventually stops responding, so I'll quit sending them. <laughs> it's a river, not an ocean, through the copper as a light accent would be gorgeous. Bro, <laughs> you're so funny. Well, I mean, it could be our own bird. It's like a dark river, <laughs> you know, it's muddy. <laughs> Uh, okay, do that table he was talking about for a charity auction in the fall. Uh, and then Tanette says, don't forget, there's wood in Centerville. And I have a charity that we're going to talk about. Oh, yeah. So, do you want to, like, walk out there and, yep. and, like... Okay, so, I guess because we really don't have anything today, we're kind of, like, that's it for, like, what we're going to do today. Just because there's some other stuff that's got to be done. and But we will, like, show y'all all parts of it. Mom says she wants it. You want this table, Mom? <laughs> I'm already going to tell y'all going to be trouble with the ideas, but before we know it, you're going to have him foiling, too. Oh, yeah. So, last night, they no. said they want you to come make a tumbler. No. We'll get I told it. you I could get you to do it. Good. I told you you had to come glitter a tumbler. We're good. My world is about five square blocks right here. I, this is, I go down. I get, what, how far was that? Two blocks? Yeah. To get my wood, I come here. I make it. If you want me to deliver it, I'll take it. But I don't think I'm going to be foiling any tumblers. Well, we'll just bring it to you. We'll bring, we'll bring it here. Okay. We'll make him do it, y'all. Uh, okay, so boo traditional. Uh, mom wants my mom. Will you give me a great price? I don't know, mom. <laughs> Depends on how much, how, how many hours we have into it. <laughs> By the time this is over with, uh, cherry is my kind of wood. Yeah, mom does like cherry. Do you need to prep the wood for the epoxy pricing, please, for a coffee table? Like a coffee table that, like, you do the pour in, or Jen? I just wanted to clarify. Sawdust is man glitter. Yeah, that's right. You can put sawdust in a cup. There's people that do it. I might do something like that. Oh, I might do something like that. Good call. Good call. Good you do call. have to prep to answer your question for the epoxy. You'll see that the next time. But yes, you've got to get all of this bark. It's got to be cleaned. A lot of times you actually use a cleaner on the wood. Um, and um, if guys are using black, when they're using black, they'll actually put a black paint that adheres the epoxy to the wood because that's a problem that you can have is the epoxy not adhering to the wood so you have to have it fully prepped and fully ready to go for that epoxy to adhere to it yeah a lot of prep work and y'all gonna see it all y'all gonna be well i mean y'all won't be sick of seeing him but y'all might be sick of seeing me because we'll go live i mean pretty much we're gonna try to go live we're trying to like record and we got stuff set up everywhere so we're trying to do it all um you have made several so debbie said she's made several with uh sawdust I know I've seen y'all. I've seen the TikTokers doing it, putting all this on it. I mean, they put breast milk on the cup. I, I don't. If you can do that, like dry bed, you can I don't have something. TikTok until you talk me into it, <laughs> and I don't have a tumbler. So. So yeah, she just said. So just curious, at what they run? Like if you're doing like we're coffee table, about, epoxy yeah. coffee table. Yeah. Um. Uh, depending on the base, if you if you're doing a metal base or a wood base, um, you'd probably be. You know, 500, just throwing a number out there, depending on how much epoxy, how big you wanted it, what you wanted it to look like. You're probably somewhere around there. It's 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 doable. 500 to 1,000 could be could be higher. Oh, shit. Um, okay, so do you want to walk and talk about the area that yeah, we're in? Do. And do y'all mind? Like, we'll take another little, I guess we'll just walk out there. And yeah, so y'all are up for a road trip? Uh, so Debbie says sold. I'd love to finish watching, but got to go shower for the after part for a per church at party at church. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna save it, so it'll be saved in here, y'all. Did I miss anybody else's questions? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, okay. So I'm gonna take y'all on the road. So, and well, do you want to just 
it's like uh, oh, yeah. Like yeah. Okay. We'll let him talk. Oh gosh, you got this loop thing. All right. Um, so the area of town I'm in is uh, Avondale, but I'm actually in um, Woodlawn now. My shop is in Woodlawn, and if you know anything about Woodlawn, you can go see the movie Woodlawn. And it'll tell you about the school, racial integration. It was a hotbed for the racial integration. Um, amazing movie. Um, actually, the star athlete, Tony Nathan, on there is Caleb Castile. Caleb's dad, Jeremiah, is a good friend of mine. Uh, Alabama alum, uh, you know, Hall of Famer, uh, NFL Pro Bowler, played with with Bear. I actually had uh, breakfast with Jeremiah today. And Jeremiah owns, when you talk about a charity... In this Woodlawn area, they're doing a complete revitalization. So um, you can see they put in the new bus stop over there for the World Games. All the way up and down this street, they're redoing buildings and um, have invested a lot of money in the revitalization of Woodlawn and the city of Birmingham. So my buddy Jeremiah owns this house right here that we're doing a full renovation on. It's a 1905 house. Um, I pulled all the provenance on it. It was a uh, a dentist office uh, back in well, after it was made. There was a family that lived in there. There was a family of dentists, uh, the dad and then the son. Um, and then this house is next to it, the red ones, Jeremiah owns. This house is going to be redone. And this is going to be a complete uh, after school recreational center for, uh, for uh, educational enrichment and mentoring through the Jeremiah Castile Foundation. So it's an amazing uh, charity. It'd be a great idea to do an auction um, for a table for that. And um, all the way down this area, this is gonna be completely redone. You're gonna drive down through Woodlawn. Woodlawn High School is just right down there. You're gonna drive down through this area and you're gonna see an amazing opportunity to mentor kids, help them. Uh, it's an awesome ministry. Uh, like I said, I've known Jeremiah, Jeremiah for years. We've done coaching and, and Bible studies and a lot of stuff together. So. Um, Anyway, this is the area I wanted you to see this, and I'll yeah, have... and if y'all, uh, if you have not seen the movie Woodlawn, or if you have, I want to give a plug too to my buddy Todd Gerald. Yeah, he used to be my partner. He actually wrote the book, and his dad is kind of one of the main characters in the book uh, and the movie. But it's really good. So anyway, I just thought it was like a cool little thing that y'all might want to see, like just a little bit about the area we we're in, and hear a little bit about the history of where we're at, really. Yep. So. Anyway, I guess we'll walk back, and then if y'all have any questions, I'm sorry, we weren't, we haven't been answering questions, so. Yeah, I don't know how to talk and read at the same time. Um, well, it's kind of harder to walk and talk and read at the same time. Yeah, watch your stuff. So, y'all bear with me, maybe till we get back in here. Uh, Brooke says he almost moved, she almost moved to Woodlawn area last summer. Yeah. Cool. Well, they're revitalizing it. It's, uh, if you know any, it's near Crestwood, Irondale. Um, Avondale, so there's been a lot of gentrification and renewal, urban renewal, but they're really trying to uh, update this area, but also keep low-income housing for people. Uh, so it's a, it's a great it's a great thing that's going on. I'm a part of it. I've got bids on um, about six houses in the area right now. I'm I'm a licensed builder, so I've got about six houses that I'm either renovating or building new, in addition to this one for the Castile Foundation. So anyway, a little lesson along with wood today so not just about the product it's no. about helping people and serving the community yep so well when you bring the charity table to me i will take you to the pro football hall of fame while All you're right. here <laughs> yeah and it really is a you good movie to... yeah i went and saw uh i went and saw it at the premiere when todd you know they opened it up in birmingham here so it was pretty cool so anyway okay do y'all have questions comments anything i have no idea what time it is um 4 15. 4.15, so that's How long matter. do these usually go? Uh, how long do these usually go, people? We got. We need to... I mean, we've been five time. hours before. Oh, my no, gosh. No, but if y'all have questions for him, if not, like, I don't know. Do we know when... Uh-oh. Um, I know, like, uh, wait a minute. Approximately how long does it take to make a seven-foot table? Yeah. Um, you can't do it all at once, obviously, because your epoxy has to dry and things like that. So um, you've got a, probably about five to ten hours prep time, uh, making sure that all this is peeled off. It can only be done by hand. Um, so you've got you know manual labor put into that, making sure it's all prepped. Um, you've got the form, the table that needs to be built, um, put all together. That has to be done right. Um, epoxy poured in. Um, so you've got you know another. 
you know, you probably got 20 hours total in that, and then when it's done, you have to finish it somehow, make sure it's straight, make sure it's level, um, cut it all up, um, and then, so you're done with that, that's maybe 20, 30 hours, and then you've got a base that you've got to put together. Now, some guys can do this quicker because their shop may be set up to do this kind of stuff. These are different, everything I do is custom, everything I do is different, I'm not a river table shop, so um, for me, it's a, a process of breaking it down and putting it back together, but you probably have anywhere from 20 to 40 hours in that table depending on what it ended up looking like and how you finished it so yeah they're answering i see y'all i see y'all's little comments okay so i know that he can't read this on here because he's talking but when we ask him how long they're like what the what the heck kelly 10 hours four to five hours kelly's a talker three hours on average two hours five hours forever <laughs> but i have a project i'm working on and i'm usually showing y'all stuff right so then when I run out of stuff to show y'all, it's kind of like... We were going to do more today, but we ended up just doing this. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's... And we were going to show Avondale. Well, we, did, we were at Avondale for about an hour. Yeah, so you we were... got to give us that. Yeah, we were over there. And at then, the hardwood store. Yeah, and we did... And I did video all that. So know that all that's coming to you, and I'll show y'all. I'll post some pictures in the group, even, of, like, the wood. Because I, I can, like, screenshot some of that stuff. So can you bring me some candy when I see you, Tina? <laughs> I know it's weird at first to think about talking to people you don't know all over the internet, but we've all become family here. I know, right? Like, he's, he'll be part of the family by the time this project's over with. <laughs> uh, well, I love y'all too, Tina. Y'all know I do. It's never long enough. Please, I can oh. I know. They, they want to go to dinner with us? <laughs> I know. Do y'all want to go to dinner with us? And talk through the editing and... <laughs> and how this is all going to play out and what's next and what color are we going to do and how many pools are we going to have and... Uh, so anyway, and I know this isn't y'all's normal time, so I am apologize um, that we did it during the day, but I will save it here, and I did have a couple people text me and ask me, like, you don't have people that maybe want to watch it that are not in the Facebook group, so I'll post it on YouTube. So even though nobody, people that don't like to see my hey, 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 hey to everybody, I do think there's people that would go on YouTube that would watch it versus just the Facebook group. Uh, so yes. So I'm going to take a clip of this and I'm going to put it on my Instagram and I'm going to say go watch my live video today with Dixie Garland's on Riverport table and they can go and watch all of this. Yeah, they can, so this will be saved in the group creep so they can either join my Facebook group and watch it or I'm going to post it on YouTube tonight so they can just go to YouTube. Like, so, so I'll link a YouTube link in my Instagram yeah. thing. Yeah. He's learning y'all. I know somebody said that he needed to have a TikTok. We're getting in there. We're getting in there. She He's said I busy, gotta have right? Three TikToks a day. Then I gotta go live. I gotta have a thousand of y'all before I can even go live. <laughs> so I gotta have a thousand people, and then I gotta do live, and I gotta do three TikToks a day, and I gotta dance in some of those. They said, I don't know. Uh, wait a minute. So we signed up. Yeah, I know y'all all signed up for his TikTok. I know y'all were there. So I sweet. mean, thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't know what I'm doing. I appreciate it. I know. So he, I said, just set up a business when we'll figure it out. And then he couldn't figure out why he couldn't go live. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that little tidbit. But as he gets stuff on there, y'all will want to watch. My husband thinks it's crazy that most of my friends I've never met. Well, I mean, I have, like, how many is our? Wow. Like 6,000 wow. members in the DD family. Wow. So he'll That's be part cool. of it before we know it. Uh, bless his heart. Y'all get there. He underestimates us. <laughs> It's a daggum job full time. I know, but I'm trying to, you know, like we'll have to do it in baby phase in some social media. Because I told so him, y'all, would, would people not watch him? If like, I come in here and set this up and I talk to y'all while I'm doing a project, y'all are gonna watch that. I told him, I said they sit there and what watch me, saying? and I'm sitting at a table. But you gotta give it a sec. You will get into it no time with Kelly being your mentor. <laughs> we'll get you. You dance, and you will get them. See, they're saying if you dance on your TikToks, so you'll get them. Uh, okay, yes, thank you, Kimberly. I know some of y'all got to get off. You can't do all that. My business social media is lacking. Yes, yes, they will watch it. I know that. I knew the things were starting to come in here. I told y'all, and he can huh. talk, right? Like, he acts like he's been doing this, too. Like, there's some people that, I promise you, you turn on the camera, and it's like they go mute. They just can't talk. But see, he has no problem. Well, I did a lot of speaking in my former life, and so I know how to talk. Yeah, yes, yes. I talk Hail good. to the yes. I talk Absolutely. good. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he's a good talker. I talk good. He's a smooth talker. No, I'm not. Stop. <laughs> Mom says sure. <laughs> yes. All right, y'all. That's, that's really a... sweet. I'm all, I'll am i think about it, and I'll see if I can figure it out. Appreciate it. 
<laughs> He's like, okay, we will. No, on. I'm serious. I told him he would. Yes, yes, we would watch you work. Heck yes, but they're saying the other word. Yes, and make sure the shirt is off one time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm normally shirtless in here because it's so hot, but I'm not going to do that on TikTok. Big fat yes. No. Yes, sir. You're getting all these yeses. Okay. Yes, well, that's yes, I appreciate it. I wasn't trying to. I know. I just wanted to find out. Yes. See, so. I, I, I can't imagine somebody wanting to watch me in here. Oh, look, there's people but like I'll this. teach you. I'll teach you guys how to do stuff. I'll, I'll, it won't just be me doing stuff. I'll talk you through it and show you what we're doing and maybe do a DIY at home project every once in a while. I've got some really good tables that I'm making. I've got one off at the metal shop that's being worked on that's going to come back in here. That's going to be awesome. I owe her that table. I've been so late on it. I've had family stuff and can't even believe I can squeeze this in with all that, but was able to. But, um, yeah, so. Uh, you're new to TikTok. How do I find him on that platform? So it's under Steelwood Studios, and I shared it in the Facebook group. Um, just so I like I linked yours on there because it pulls up the picture real big. <laughs> Uh, talk good, look good. Let me see you shake it real quick. <laughs> They're not talking to me. <laughs> Woodworking, metal, epoxy, I'm in. See, we are learning. I love woodworking, so I would love to watch you. Yeah, see? So, yeah, all right. Um, I know people watch other people just eat. Sorry, y'all. I missed a bunch of comments. Yeah, I know, right? Like, you go on TikTok and there's people sleeping. I'm like, who's sitting here watching you sleep? That ain't right. I know. Some of that know. stuff's not right, y'all. So, yes, we would. Uh, she has the link in the group. Yeah, so it's Steelwood Studios. Steelwood, one word. And it's been set up on your thing. as like Steelwood is one word. Yeah. And, um, yes, I will share all of his information. Can you cut Kelly's leg shorter on her table so she doesn't have to sit on her foot for three hours? Yeah, so you've never seen me on my... So, you know, like, my, my, like, where everything's set up. Okay. On your videos and stuff where you do yeah, your stuff? Yeah, yeah, you know right. that table's right, that big round table? And so it's too tall for the chairs that came with it. And even the chair I put up under there is still too tall down on it. Yeah. So it's too tall. It disconnected. Okay. I got a there? guy that has a beautiful antique table his mama gave him. And he's got a place, the table is probably like 28 inches. And the spot he's got for it is about 12 inches deep. So he wants me to take this antique table and I'm going to cut it and cut it in half. And he's going to slide that in there and then take the other half and put it somewhere else. But he doesn't have any place to put it. It goes perfect if we do it. It's going to break my heart, but we're going to do it. Well, this one just needs, like, the legs. Just the legs. Cut shorter. I had somebody redo it. But um, we'll get all the husbands watching. Okay, yeah, so they got the link in there. Can you also see? I knew it. It blanked up for a minute. The writing people crack me up. Please wait to see you write their name. What? Wait a minute, huh? Thank you, Tina. And somebody else posted on there. Oh, and Mary, thank you. I have some good little moderators. You said they like they'll link stuff in there for me when I'm not doing Thank it. You. So, um, but yeah, I'll share all this information and then the guy that we got the wood from as well. So yeah. Um. Anyway, anything else, y'all? We won't like hang on here for too long. Um, I don't know when part two will be. It's like I'm flexible. Got the holiday weekend and stuff. Yeah. So like whenever it's his schedule, we'll be up here and next week probably something like that. Next week probably. So. Anyway, I'm, the number's dropping, so I'm not sure. It, cra it, like, it locked up a minute ago, so I know sometimes we lose. The new way to get the hubs to craft with us. There you go, Shamika. Hello. I mean, get them to come in here and watch with y'all. They all want me to do a honeydew list, so your husband has to see it and then learn how to do a honeydew list. Yeah. Yeah, and then he has to make a tumbler so that he can show the other y'all's husbands that, like, it's okay. You can be manly and put some sawdust on a tumbler and... <laughs> 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 yes. Um. Anyway, okay, y'all. Uh, we will send some T-shirts with his studio and DD to help raise funds for. We will need some T-shirts with his studio and DD to help raise some funds for after school. I've got T-shirts and hats that I'm working on. So yeah. yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I've got I got that. a girl that's working on T-shirts. She's got these and she's going to do me some. I know, that's a good looking shirt. Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. This is um, Lindsay. At Yellow Rose and Company. Where's she at? Uh, Kentucky. Uh, Yellow Rose and Company. She made these shirts. They're awesome. They're kind of a heather that? green. She's What's got tons of colors. Is that the tag in it? Yeah. Oh, that's a Bella Campus. Okay. Yeah. I was like, Super it's got to be a Bella Campus. Light. And, I mean, it's great for the shop because it's so light. And, yeah. That's good. 
Um, okay, sounds like we'll talk to you later, sis. Have a okay, so yes, y'all. Okay, you just got your thousand, so you finally get to get well. Congrats, Deb. Why, Debbie, why didn't you ask me? I would have shared your thing. Y'all know, anytime y'all are close to getting a thousand viewers, message me or tag me, and I'll try to share it on mine. I don't know that it helps. My views are like way loser right now, but. The problem we have in the house is we are both crafty. I used to make and redo furniture. Well, that, yeah. Well, that's not a problem. You just gotta work, y'all team up and work water. together. You want water? Uh, yeah, please. My hubby's already wanting to do a camo dip tumbler. Yes, and the man glitter stuff, right? We could get him to do a man glitter <laughs> tumbler. So anyway, okay, yeah. So I, once I'm out today, y'all, I will be posting updates and things like that. Um, anything that's new that's coming out or being listed on the website, um, I'll still let you guys know that I'm not going anywhere, but I'm gonna take like a little bit of a social media break So we won't go live to uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're gonna go live tonight I'm not gonna go live Sunday or Monday and then Tuesday night So if anybody else is on here or you see the replay of this Tuesday night, we're gonna start the uh, Bible study. We're doing the armor of God from the awesome. show. I know, right? Good job. That's so awesome. uh, that'll be Tuesday night and uh let's see what okay hold on just a second i'll come back i see your question so hold on just a second rachel so tuesday night we'll start that we're gonna do it at 7 p.m and i think y'all probably the best way i will post it in the group is i think i don't think we're gonna do be able to do the screen sharing in facebook room i think we need to do it through zoom and i think zoom will hold more people so if y'all weren't watching last night when i went live there's a post and I pinned it in the announcements. If y'all will just, cause I need to kind of have an idea of how many people are gonna be in the in the Bible study. Just because it'll alter like what kind of Zoom I do or whatever. But I think I can share, cause I'm gonna have video access to the videos that will go with the book. And I didn't want y'all to have to buy that. So I think I can do a screen share where we can do it through that um, for, um, for the Bible study. So if y'all just go to that post, if you're planning on doing, I know a lot of y'all have, but if you haven't, Go to that post and just comment on there that you want to do it so I can have a tally before then. But I will be ready to do that Tuesday night. And then Wednesday we'll be back uh, live. And then I'll try to plan to do, because I know we haven't done Fun Pool Friday. But uh, we, we will try to do, yeah, Fun Pool Friday. And I have something new with the fools too. Uh, that I've been playing around in my mind. And I think I finally know what I'm going to do. So y'all stay tuned for that. I will be posting stuff on social media. So um, what do you use to make the form so the epoxy doesn't stick? So it's called melamine. <laughs> it's a. Uh, is that what you mean? Or you mean the yeah, spray? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's what, no uh, well, there's two things. So you yeah. use it's melamine. It's a particle board that has a white finish on it. You can see it at Home Depot. It comes in four by eight sheets. So you want to make your table smaller than four by eight because what you're going to do is rip off edges. You'll see us do it. You rip off the edges. You make a form that's tall, and then you set your table down in there. Before you do that, you have to spray. Um, what's called a mold release not mold like mold on wood but mold like a form and it allows the epoxy in the wood to release from the table once you've made it otherwise it all sticks together and you spend if you'll see as we do this if you don't do it right you're going to spend all your time pulling melamine off of your wood your epoxy is going to leak out the sides it's just a complete mess if you don't do it right it's a big deal like it's not it's not for the faint of heart but um but melamine and, and mold and uh, mold release or form release. Yeah. So, thank you. We will just. Oh, they're. Uh, he doesn't need to read all those comments. <laughs> he's on the Facebook group, so he won't see any of that stuff. He's he's a, he won't re go back and read the comments. He'll be reading it on um, watching it on YouTube. So yeah, it's kind of weird once you post it on YouTube. Like we're still talking to people, but they aren't there, so the comments don't show up on YouTube. But, but that's why I try to, like, a lot of times you'll hear me reading the question out. That's why I try to read it out. So whoever's watching knows it. But, you know, we have, I have haters sometimes on YouTube that say, like, we don't want to sit there and see. But I'm like, well, at least it's, a lot of times you'll ask questions. Huh. So prep is the key as to what I'm understanding. Absolutely. Yes. Just like building a house, the foundation, getting all that right, getting everything laid out so that you can have straight walls and square walls. Everything is all about the prep. The prep time you put into it and then you doing it over and over and over helps you know how to avoid mistakes but watching tutorial if you're going to do it yourself watch tutorials watch blacktail uh, studios watch some other guys on youtube because they're very well versed in it and they'll help you um, but i mean i've watched them and i've still seen them leave out little parts that i thought I mean you should mention that um, so 
you know, like one of the things that you got to do is you got to clamp this thing down. Once you make your form, you have to clamp this down inside your form. If you try to do this at home, you decide over the weekend you're going to make one. One of the key critical parts is clamping down your wood inside your form. Because if you don't, when the epoxy adheres, it's going to pull that wood up and you're never going to get that cup out. It'll never, you'll never lay it down flat again, no matter how much you screw it into a base or whatever. So, yeah, a lot of prep. And if y'all decide to do this over this weekend, I'm going to need to see pictures of this. If y'all just whip one of these babies out over the weekend. I know, right? <laughs> and then they're going to come to Dixie Darlings and they're going to watch the tutorial from me. Yeah, they're going to they learn what they there. did wrong. <laughs> well, look, they know that that's what, that's what they always watch me do. I'm usually like, when I'm live, I'm learning in the process. And then I'll be up. Personally, I feel like everybody learns that way. Like they see when you oh, do yeah. mess up. Like I learn better when I'm seeing what not to do as what what to do. Sometimes. Well, just like in life, you learn from your failures. Do you hear Mr. Prophetic back here? Did you hear you him? Do. You learn just from in your life, failures. you learn from your failures. So, if you don't clamp it, it floats. <laughs> so everybody, we never have enough clamps when it comes to projects. That's right. So. Yep. Uh, let's see. My husband is a carpenter, and he talks just like him. Plum, level, and square. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah. Mary, measure, Mary, measure, twice, why, measure twice, cut once. Unless you cut your finger off, then you gotta... Mary, why are you trying to lick this table if your husband's a carpenter, girl? You just make it, get him to whip you one of these out. Tina says, so true, smart man. I mean, we, between the two of us, we got some failures. Yeah, so I was We've learned say, a lot I of lessons. I don't think it's smart, it's just... If you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. <laughs> I mean, how many, have y'all ever heard me say that before? All right, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna get to planning uh, and see what we come up with. And good to I meet y'all. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank y'all for being on here and interacting and having good questions for him too. I knew they would. They always show up. They're pretty good. That's good. So I will keep you guys posted on anything else that's going on this week. And then stay tuned. I'll be posting some projects that I've been working on. And then I'll let you guys know when we're going to do part two of this. So anyway, if I don't see you guys again, for whatever reason, y'all have a happy, safe 4th of July. And we'll see you at the Bible study Tuesday night or uh, Wednesday night live. So my son has that tattooed on his arm. Oh, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Debbie, I would love to make one, just not with my husband. He's too picky. Have a great evening. Looking forward to the next adventure. Yes, Jenny. Thank y'all. Yes. Thank y'all so much for being here. And I don't know. Bye, Steph. Yes. And I'll be, I'm sure I'll be talking to some of y'all. So thank y'all for being here. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.